Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'll show you how to crochet this stocking for Christmas. It's a pretty easy pattern to make if you already know how to crochet in the round and know how to make a half double crochet stitch. To do this I'm using about 230 yards of worsted weight yarn and a size H crochet hook. To begin, make a slip knot on your hook and then chain four. We're going to slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. Then we're going to chain one. Throughout this entire pattern, the beginning chain one will not count as a stitch. In the ring, we're going to make 12 half double crochet stitches. Once completed, we'll close the round by making a slip stitch to the first stitch. We'll begin round two with a chain one, which again does not count as a stitch. On this round, we're going to make some typical increases. We're going to make two half double crochet stitches in each stitch around. So you can see how I made my first set of two half double crochet stitches and am now working on my next set of two half double crochet stitches. Continue with this pattern around until you have a total of 24 half double crochet stitches on this round. Slip stitch to close this round. We need one more round of increases to make the toe section of the stocking. We'll do the pattern of two half double crochet stitches in the first stitch and then one half double crochet in the next stitch. And repeat, two half double crochet stitches in the next stitch followed by only one half double crochet in the next stitch. Continue with this two, one, two, one pattern around. Now going forward for rounds four through 17, we're just going to make one half double crochet stitch around. We don't need to make any more increases right now. So we're simply forming the bottom of the stocking section at this time. There should be 36 half double crochet stitches on each round and your work is going to curl inwards on you. You can change colors like I did with five white rounds and 12 red rounds for a total of 17 rounds of this part of the stocking. Once you are finished, I like to fasten off the red yarn at this time and I fold the stocking in half so the red tail end is at the bottom of the stocking. We're going to work on the heel section next. To do this, I'm switching over to the white yarn. We're going to work in U-shape rows for several rows to form the heel. First, we're going to count back 10 stitches from the red tail end of the yarn and then slip stitch the white yarn to the stocking and chain one. From this point, we're just going to make a total of 21 half double crochet stitches around just a portion of the stocking and we're going to switch over to rows. So for this heel portion of the stocking on this first row, just make one half double crochet stitch in each red stitch from below, which when completed should form a U shape in your work with the white yarn. As you can see, I have made my 21 half double crochet stitches using my white yarn and my red tail end from before is at the halfway point of my U shape section. So for rows two through eight, we're just going to chain one, turn our work, and then proceed to place one half double crochet stitch in each stitch from the row below, which if you are keeping count, should be a total of 21 half double crochet stitches since row one had that same number of stitches on it. And as just mentioned, we're going to make a total of eight rows of this heel section using the white yarn and having it form a rather large U shape in the stocking section. Once the eight rows have been completed, it's time to fasten off your work and leave a longer tail end for sewing. We need to close up this little back portion of the heel section with the yarn strand. I generally sew it together, but feel free to slip stitch it together or even single crochet if you are more comfortable with that. Now it's time to begin the boot section of the stocking. I'm switching over to red yarn and we're switching back to working in rounds again. After connecting the red yarn, we're going to do the pattern of one half double crochet followed by two half double crochet stitches in the next stitch. We're working along the edge of each of the eight half double crochet rows we made for the heel. I find tracing my fingernail along each of the rows helps me find out where the exact point is at the edge of each row 
so I know where to put my stitches. And I should mention this one half double crochet followed by two half double crochet followed by one half double crochet followed by two half double crochet pattern will only be worked on the white yarn. So I trace my fingernail upwards and place my one half double crochet stitch here. I then trace my fingernail upwards and place my two half double crochet stitches at the edge of the next row. And finally, trace my fingernail upwards again and place my one half double crochet stitch in the final row of the heel section. Now on the red section, we're just going to place one half double crochet stitch in each of the red stitches. We don't need to make any increases on this section. So keep making one half double crochet on the red section. Then we move over to the white yarn section again. We're going to repeat the pattern of one half double crochet in the first stitch and then in the next stitch, which is the end of the row, place two half double crochet stitches in that stitch. You can see how on this side of the stocking, I alternated between one half double crochet stitch and then two half double crochet stitches. The rest of the stocking is pretty easy. For rounds two through 28, we're just going to make one half double crochet stitch in each stitch around. It's up to you how tall you want to make your stocking. I happen to like 28 rounds for mine, but you can make yours a bit shorter or a bit taller than that. As you can see on mine, I made 17 rounds of red yarn and then I did the last 11 rounds with white yarn. I then folded over the top section to give it the traditional look. I also made a separate chain 30 with my red yarn and tied and knotted it to the inside of my stocking to serve as a loop for placing it on a fireplace mantle. And that's it. That's how I crochet a Christmas stocking.